Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a nice functional equation. I can't remember if I made this problem before. Uh, I've probably done some similar problems in the past. If you see the same problem on my channel, please let me know. can't remember if I did this. That looks familiar. But anyways, we have f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x. And we're going to be solving for f of x. We're, we're going to try to find an expression for f of x in terms of x. Okay? And we'll do that by substitution. So this is our main equation. We're allowed to replace x with other things as long as, you know, we stay within the domain and it should be pretty much uh, fine. So I'm going to start by replacing x with 1 over 1 minus x. The reason behind that is it's going to give me something that I already have. So let's go ahead and replace x with 1 over 1 minus x everywhere, basically. And when you do that, you're going to get the following. Okay, this is the first thing I'm going to do. f of 1 over 1 minus x. That's obviously a direct result here, right? And then plus f of... Now, I'm kind of replacing the function, uh, the x in the function uh, with itself. So it's kind of like a, if th this function is called g, it's kind of like g composition g. Make sense? Okay. So it's going to look like this. 1 over 1 minus x is going to be replaced with 1 over 1 minus x, remember? And x will be replaced with 1 over 1 minus x. All right? So let's go ahead and simplify the second expression, the second term, and see what we get from there. You're going to get f of 1 over 1 minus x. And then here, if you make a common denominator, or multiply the top and the bottom by 1 minus x, you should be getting f of 1 minus x divided by 1 minus x minus 1. The 1 is going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with negative x. Make sense? And obviously, you don't want to have a negative x, so we're going to we're going to flip things around a little bit and write this as follows. f of 1 over 1 minus x, that's what we got, plus f of... If you negate the top and the bottom at the same time, then it should work. So that's going to be f of x minus 1 over x. And that is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So that's going to be my second equation. This is my first, and this is my second. And I do need another equation, because notice that I have three different variables so far. I have the x inside the parentheses, 1 over 1 minus x, and x minus 1 over x. And you probably guessed it right if you said, I'm going to replace x with x minus 1 over x next. Because that's what I need to do, right? And let's see what happens with that. But of course, I have to go back to the original equation every time. So let me copy that here. So you can kind of see how that works. This is what I had originally. This is equation number 1, right? So now, in this equation, I'm going to replace x with x minus 1 over x. And the motivation behind it is coming from here. Make sense? I want to get that term. So let's go ahead and do it. Replace x with that here and everywhere else. So that's going to give you f of x minus 1 over x plus f of 1 over 1 minus. Now we're replacing x with x minus 1 over x. And of course on the right hand side as well. So it's going to be x minus 1 over x. And when I simplify, this is going to be my equation number 3. But let's go ahead and simplify it first. And we're going to name it number 3. Or we're going to number it number 3, whatever. Okay, so now this is going to be f of x minus 1 over x plus, notice that if you multiply the top and the bottom by x, you're going to get f of x over, it's actually better than making a common denominator because x immediately cancels out. And then here you're going to have x minus x plus 1, and that's just going to be 1. Make sense? And this is what is so beautiful about this problem, is that we get f of x. So we kind of cycle back to equation number 1. And obviously, instead of x over 1, I can just write it as f of x, right? Okay. So this is f of x, and this is going to be equation number 3. Make sense? So let's go ahead and put all these equations together, 1, 2, and 3, and then we're going to see what we can do about it. All right? Cool. Let's go ahead and write it like this. Equation number one, the original one. f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x. This is equation number one. And then equation number two is going to be f of 1 over 1 minus x. f of 1 over 1 minus x 
plus f of x minus 1 over x x minus 1 over x equals remember we replace x with 1 over 1 minus x here this is equation number 2 and the number 3 is right there f of x minus 1 over x plus f of x equals x minus 1 over x and this is equation number 3 so we got ourselves a nice system you know what there are three variables and three equations so what can I do with this there's a couple different things you can do one of them is you can just add all these equations and you're gonna get everything twice divide by 2 you're gonna get the three-way sum and then subtract what is needed to get f of x that's one way to approach it and another way to approach it is you can get rid of the second and third equation by negating let's go ahead and do that first so we're gonna go ahead and multiply the second equation oops we're gonna multiply the second equation by negative 1 so let me go back here okay we're gonna go ahead and multiply this by negative 1 everywhere let's multiply and second and third equation we're also gonna multiply that by negative 1 and then the first equation is just gonna stay the same and then see what we get from there all right so f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x and the second equation is going to be negative f of 1 over 1 minus x minus f of x minus 1 over x equals if you negate that you're going to get 1 over x minus 1 and then the third equation is going to be negative f of x minus 1 over x minus f of x and then that equals x minus 1 over x but when you negate it it's going to be 1 minus x over x however you write it it's going to turn out to be the same thing and now we can go ahead and add these equations up and see what happens from here okay now everything should work out nicely right so let's see so we should get rid of the f of x okay we're getting rid of the f of x let's see what happens first of all these two cancel out right f of 1 over 1 minus x cancels out and then f of x cancels out uh oh that shouldn't cancel out but anyways that's okay now we have this twice so it's going to be negative 2 times f of x minus 1 over x and then that is equal to the sum of these three things so it's going to look like this x plus 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 minus x over x now here what we can do is we can basically simplify the right hand side and then you know go find f of x from here but of course we have to do a little bit more work on this and now we're going to find f of x but let's go ahead and take a look at this second method which is uh, uh, obviously uh, much much better so let me rewrite my equations those equations are going to be or we can actually clear this up and do it that way it's probably going to be easier so let's go ahead and uh, erase these things so we're going to get rid of the multiplication symbols this one and this one and then all this area let me go ahead and change this a little bit okay here we go I'm gonna clear this area and what I'm gonna do next is basically add up all these equations and go from there so that's gonna be my second method okay so let's see we're gonna go ahead and add these equations up that's gonna give us f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x plus f of x minus 1 over x two times and then that's going to be the sum of three things x plus 1 over 1 minus x plus x minus 1 over x and then eventually we're going to divide everything by 2 and we'll get the answer okay let's see what we get from here we can put f of x f of 1 over 1 minus x plus f of x minus 1 over x and we can basically just put a one half here and then take care of the denominators the common denominator is going to be x times 1 minus x so we got to multiply x by x times 1 minus x we got to multiply 1 by x and we've got to multiply x minus 1 by 1 minus x or you can just put a minus sign and square it and then the bottom is going to be x times 1 minus x make sense okay let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side a little bit it's one half and then this is going to be x squared times 1 minus x cubed plus x now 
I have x minus 1 squared with a minus sign, so it's going to be minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. And at the bottom, we're going to have x minus x squared. So that's going to be half of that, the sum of the three things. Let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. x squared cancels out. x cubed, uh, x and 2x can be simplified. So we can kind of write it as negative x cubed plus 3x minus 1 over x minus x squared. I can later on negate it. But anyways, this is the three-way sum and then what we can do is we can go ahead and subtract this from that. What is this? We know this sum, right? f of 1 over 1 minus x plus f of x minus 1 over x, that is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So this is 1 over 1 minus x. And if you subtract it from here, we're going to get f of x. That's going to be the end of the story. I know it, I took a long time to do this, but anyways, I hope you get the idea. So I'm just get, negating both the top and the bottom. And then from this, I'm subtracting 1 over 1 minus x, which is equivalent to adding the opposite. Make sense? So this should be the answer. You can definitely make a common denominator and simplify it. That's left as an exercise for the audience. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.